हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू योर साइंस क्लास सो स्टूडेंट्स इन द प्रीवियस क्लास वी वर टॉकिंग अबाउट द एयर एंड द पोल्यूशन व्हिच इज कॉज्ड बाय द एयर वी हैव अंडरस्टूड दैट व्हाट आर द हार्मफुल इफेक्ट ऑफ द एयर एयर पोल्यूशन एंड व्हाट आर द कॉजेस ऑफ द एयर पोल्यूशन व्हाट आर द डिफरेंट एयर पॉल्यूटेंट्स आर देयर व्हिच इज रिस्पांसिबल फॉर causing the air pollution we have understood that uh, uh, how even though the different kind of uh, gases are present in the atmosphere but the percentage it remains constant now we will going to start with the water and try to understand that what is the importance of water we will try to understand that water how the water get uh, polluted by the activities of human as well as about the soil so let us start with the water we will try to understand about the water here water was it occupy a very large area of the earth surface and it is also found in underground some amount of water exists in the form of a water vapor in the atmosphere while the most of the water on the earth as uh, earth surface is found in sea and ocean and is solid water a wonder liquid what does it mean it means that it is what it is a liquid which is having some special property some speciality that's why it is said that water a wonder liquid now the water uh, said here it is said that water it occupies a large area of the earth surface and it is basically found in underground yes water is found under uh, in the underground also it is found in the large area also and some amount of the water is also exist in the form of a water vapor in the atmosphere there are water which is present in the atmosphere in the form of a water vapor also actually our earth it is covered the 75% of our earth surface is covered with that of the water and out of that most of the water it is what it is trapped in that of the uh, in the uh, in the ice box or that of the um, even in the glaciers also ice cap or glacier so we cannot consume it so we can say that so see students uh, actually our earth is what it is covered most of the portion of our earth actually it is about the 75% of our earth uh, that is covered with the water and uh, out of that 99% of the uh, water it is what it is in the form of a it in the seas and the ocean and is saline we can say it is salty water so yes we are not able to consume that so most of the earth surface although it is covered with the water but most of the water it is found in the sea and ocean that is why it is not fit for drinking fresh water is found student the fresh water it is found frozen in ice caps at two poles and on snow covered mountains so rest of the uh, uh, rest of the point 1% of that of the uh, fresh water that is found frozen it is actually in the frozen form in ice caps or that of the uh, snow covered mountain also so some of the water most of the water it is present in sea or as well as in the ocean and some amount of a water it is what it is trapped in the snow or it is trapped in the ice caps now here underground water is also there now the rest of the water it will be present in the form of a underground water as well as it is also present in the rivers in lakes in pond that is also a fresh water so most of the water is what that is saline water that is salty water and we cannot consume the salty water but some of the amount of a water that is found in a frozen form and they are found at the in the form in uh, there some of them is found in that of the frozen form or in the polar ice caps while the rest of them it will be found in um, uh, in the water bodies like river lakes or ponds are there 
and even underground water also so you can see here by this we come to conclusion that although our planet appears blue and green because of the water because of the green uh, greenery because of the plant only but you know that the rainfall is water uh, or the water is water present in more amount but here still uh, a very less amount of our water is available for us even though there are lot amount of our water a big percentage of our water is there but very less amount of water is available to us there is an another reason for this the first one is unequal distribution of the uh, of the rainfall somewhere rainfall occur very much somewhere it occur very less so obviously at one the level of the water will be more and second uh, the level of the water will be what it will be less so this is the reason of the scarcity of water however <coughs> and the availability of a fresh water it varies from place to place practically every summer most places have to face a shortage of water and in rural areas where water supply system have not been installed people are forced to spend considerable amount of a time in fetching water from far away sources here it is explaining that how water is really important we know that the fresh water is uh, is what is is the water that person can consume but the amount of the distribution of the fresh water is uneven somewhere the amount is more and somewhere the amount is what less so due to which uh, there is a uh, there is a the uh, the amount of the fresh water it varies from place to place in summer what happened the level of the water goes down so obviously there will be shortage of water so the people who are living in the rural area they those who have not supplied those who have not installed the uh, water run supply system you know that these days water reaches to your home with the help of a water supply system so in still in village there is no such water supply of uh, uh, water supply of uh, Um, so due to all this there is very less amount of water is available for the people students so in order to get water what people they the people are forced to spend considerable amount of a time in fetching water uh, far away from the sources so they need water and due to which due to this unequal distribution by the nature uh, the people they need water and for that they used to go far away from their places uh here question is why water is so necessary and do all organism require water all cellular process take place in water medium all the reactions take place in the all the reactions that take place within the body and within the cell occur between the substance are dissolved in water substance are transported from one part to the body other part in a dissolved form and hence the organism need to maintain the level of water within their bodies in order to stay alive see what happened question arises that why why there is a need of uh, of a uh, water why water is so necessary to us what will happen if there will be no water why do we require water so you know that water is what it is really important medium because uh, the reaction which take place within our body or within the cell between the substance that will be what it will be dissolved in water in the process of digestion anything that happen you will find that the water is released even uh, we can take an example of a salivary amylase which releases water although when we used to eat anything the water will mixes with the food making it soft so that the process of a digestion can occur easily okay so substances we can say here that all the reactions that take place within our body and within the cell occur between the substance are dissolved in water now the substance are also transported from one part to other in a dissolved form so if uh, uh, if uh, uh, so water is necessary students because water is present in a very less amount 
and everyone every organism they need water actually all the cellular process everything that take place in our body in our cell that occur because uh, that occur with the help of the water because the substances are dissolved in the water so why water is necessary it is necessary because all the cellular process take place in water medium all the reaction take place within our body or within the cell occur between the substance that also dissolved in water everything is there that is dissolved in the water and due to which we can say that water is really essential for us there are other factors also students like substances so see it help in the process of giving energy to us in the process of uh, dissolving it means in process of digestion we can say it also help in the transportation from one part of the body to the other in the dissolved form see everything uh, even the water is there if if you will drink water in a good amount the water also help in transporting that of the substances from one part to the other in the form of a dissolved form or in the form of soluble form okay so solubility form it explains that the substance is what it get transported from one part of the body to the other in the form of a in the dissolved form hence the organism need to maintain the level of water within their bodies in order to stay alive so the organism they need water they need to maintain the level of the water because this level of water in the bodies uh, that is important for their survival okay so organism need to maintain the level of water within their bodies in order to stay alive in order to stay alive it is really important that the organism need to maintain the level of water we all are dependent on the water not only uh, as a living organism but uh, any uh, but any uh, as a living organism but also uh, in order to maintain the ecological balance it is important that we must take care of the water we must make our water very clean here now uh, water is what it is transport so it is important because it help in the process of digestion it is also important as it as it help in the process of uh, uh, transmission means it help in transporting the uh, the substance from water so water uh, the everything get dissolved in the water and due to which it can be transported from one person to another now see the organism need to maintain the level of water within the bodies in order to stay alive the organism they need water and the water is essential in order to maintain uh, the uh, in order to uh, in order to uh, uh, make the things to get dissolved or to get transported it is important that every organism need a good amount of a water you have seen even the doctors your parents they used to say to have a good amount of a water because that will help in the proper digestion of the food okay so that's why the water is really important then terrestrial life form require fresh water for this because their bodies cannot tolerate or get rid of a high amount of a dissolved salt in saline water see there are some of the what uh, some amount of our organism are there which cannot remain cannot be dissolved or cannot be uh, found in saline water right terrestrial life forms are there they they we cannot we are not dependent on saline water we need fresh water for our survival so because of this only the terrestrial life form it requires the fresh water and because the reason is that their body cannot tolerate or get rid of, of a huge amount of a dissolved salt in saline water so why is it so it is because our body is not ready to consume and we can say here that the huge amount of a salt uh, cannot be uh, dissolved or cannot be tolerated by us okay that's why we cannot drink the saline water even though its percentage is really very high thus water source need to be easily accessible for animals and plants to survive on land 
even then also the water it needs the uh, it need the easily accessible it means it must be available everywhere so that all the not only the living organism but all the plants and the animals will be able to uh, take the benefit of the water okay so water is the wonder uh, wonder liquid because it is important for the human beings it is important for all the living organisms including the plants or that of the animal thus the water must be uh, available what is the very good quality of the water uh, the water is water uh, of a of a water that uh, conservation of water that water uh, it it need to be accessible uh, for the plant or the animals who are surviving on the land because they also need a sufficient amount of water for their metabolic process to occur in the body here now now see here after compiling the result that we get in the activities here you can see that the availability of water it decide not only the number of individual of each species that are able to survive in a particular area but it also decide the diversity of a life there and of course the availability of water is not only the factor that decide the sustainability of a life uh, uh, in a reason other factors are also there like temperature is there nature of soil also matter but water is one of the major resource which determine the life on earth yes the availability of a water if 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 a place is there student if an area is there where the water is present obviously many species will survive in that particular area because every species they need water so they must live or they start living in the area which is what which which consisting of a water in it and of course yes it is true that that not only this is not that availability of water is the only factor that decide the sustainability of the life in a reason no uh, if uh, in an area uh, water is available it does not mean that there will be more amount of a plant or animals are there the temperature must be proper uh, uh, for this and other factors are the nature of the soil also matter these two are the factors which is important for the survival of the plants and the animal so we can say here that if an area is there where water is present that water uh, will help in the growth of more amount of a plant and animal but it does not mean that it is the only factor on which the life exists but there are other although we know that water is what it's a major resource it is students is really very important for the every organism now see here the next one is the water pollution okay so we have understood the importance of water how water is important to us now let us see that how water get polluted by us when we talk about the water pollution we must know here few things the first one is water pollutant see if a less amount of water is there and and the uh, uneven distribution of the water is also there so very less amount of water is present in the atmosphere for uh, in the uh, in the nature uh, which we can consume it so yes uh, our responsibility is to conserve it and to preserve it now let us see that there are some of the unwanted substances which used to increases or which used to uh, change the nature of the water and such kind of thing is called as the water pollution this property is called as water pollution too now what happened water dissolves the fertilizers and pesticides that we use in our farm so some percentage of these substances are washed into the water body sewage from our town and cities and waste from factories are also dumped into the river or the lakes see here it is talking about here it does not explain about the water pollutant there are a lot of a different water pollutants are there but here it is explaining actually that what is the cause of water pollution how the water pollution occur what is the exact cause of the water uh, pollution so here it is said that water 
it what it dissolves the fertilizers and pesticides what happen in crop in order that the crop must grow well as well as in order to kill pest we use pesticides we use fertilizers and that is obviously it is used in the farm so what happens some of the percentage of these substances these pesticides or fertilizers which consisting of a harmful chemicals and uh, some of the percentage of these chemicals it washed into the water bodies and uh, they will get uh, collected into that of the uh, the river so when we use the fertilizers when we use the pesticides when the rainfall occur this will get these chemicals will get dissolved not only rainfall when we provide water to it this water uh, uh, the, the chemicals which is present in it fertilizers or pesticides will get dissolved in the water and and finally it will reaches to the water body so this is how the water pollution occur next one is sewage from our town and cities are and uh, waste from factories are also dumped from uh, dump into river or lake so there are some of the uh, uh, some of the factors including the sewage see what happened the sewer line consisting of a dirty water because this water is coming from your uh, from your toilet or even from while bathing while washing these what water is what is consisting of a many microbes and the harmful chemical uh, also okay so it is important normally what happen we used to throw this into the river or into the lake okay so sewage that uh, that is collected from the town and cities that is uh, thrown or dumped into river or lake specific industries also uh, use water for cooling in various operation and later return this hot water to water bodies what happen there are factories the factories they use the water and the water they use actually it is used for the cooling purpose also now while cooling what happened due to the hot appliances this water will get converted into hot water right and this hot water uh, what happened it will be again released into the water bodies and due to high temperature that will going to affect the living organism so till now we have understood that how water pollution occur the first one is because of the presence of the fertilizers because of the presence of the pesticides the second one is the sewage the sewage which is coming from the town which is coming from the cities it will dumped uh, it with the waste which is coming from the factories it will dump uh, it get dumped into the river or into the lake that should not be done in order to prevent the water pollution and the most important that uh, the industries they used to release water and these water uh, by, for cooling purpose they get hot and when it is released into the water bodies it will cause the death of the living organism present in the water water in river can be affected is when water is released from the dam the water inside the deep reserve would be colder than the water at the surface which get heated by the sun yes obviously the surface of the water is what it is in a direct contact with the sunlight so it will get uh, we can say here that uh, here uh, it get heated first by the sun rather than that of the the deep reserves the water which is present inside to that of the deep reserve so the water which is present on the surface and the water which is present deep inside deep reservoir they which one will be the considered as a uh, which we will going to consider as a uh, the hot one so obviously the which is present at the surface it will be heated by the sun and which is present at the deep it will be what cool now all this can affect the life form that are found in these water bodies in various way it can encourage the growth of some life form and harm some other life form and this affect the balance between the various organism which has been established in this system so we use the term water pollution to cover the following effect actually what is that what are the different effect of the water pollution so uh, it will going to the overall if i'll talk then yes the uh, it will going to degrade the quality of the water that is a uh, what uh, we can say it's a uh, the effect of the water pollution 
obviously if an unwanted change occur so if anything will be going to be uh, done uh, related to poly uh, related to the uh, the effect so uh, the effect is actually uh, is that the quality of the water get hampered or get degraded okay so other points that we will going to discuss later in the next class